Hi guys. Happy Thursday. This is absolutely impromptu. Um, this is just something I wanted to make sure the lighting is good. Uh, I, I just wanted to pop on because I used to record a lot of my stuff and I'm becoming so much more self-aware of when things happen and when I'm feeling a certain way, it's it's really important to share, you know, those takeaways and share what you've learned from a certain experience. And, you know, what I'm learning about this business and, and you know, whether it's entrepreneurship or network marketing, direct sales, it is all mindset. And what I've really learned is that when you become very clear on what you want to achieve and what, what you're striving for, and, and here's the thing, what, I, what I've really, really understood is that your vision isn't always going to be somebody else's. And I think a lot of the time, and, and for me, why a lot of the time I got so frustrated at, at times on this journey in this business, it was because my vision was different than that person's. Because, you know, it, it comes back to something that I've read in, in books and, and, I, and I've heard from other leaders is that, you know, people will tell you what they want you to hear. And sometimes that's a hard pill to swallow because you want people to, to be honest with you. You want people to tell you things and you want people to really be truthful and honest with you. But what I've also learned about not only myself, but, but you know, people in general is sometimes we don't want to hurt someone's feelings. You know, we don't want to, we don't want that person to be let down or we don't want that person to feel hurt. And, you know, what I can tell you is it, it's one of those things where I, when you can let go of what you're expecting people to say and focus on your vision and you can focus on your goals and what you want to achieve, it becomes a much more relaxed experience because you will find you will find those those people. You will find those people that really, you know, you, you will find those people that really want what you want. You will. And um, hi, Marnie. Hi, Jody. For some reason, the things aren't popping up on my screen here, so that's why I have my, my phone right here. Um, and, you know, it's one of those things where, when you can let go of the expectations of what other people are, are thinking and what other people are saying. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Tara. Hi, Sydney. Hi, Teresa. It becomes much easier for you to really start creating the life that you deserve. And, and here's why. Your vision is your vision. Now, you will end up having some people on your journey that have the exact vision you do. You will. And how many people can relate to that? Hi, Val. How many people have gotten frustrated at certain points? Hi, Lisa. How many people have gotten frustrated at certain points in their business or their endeavor where people just didn't see their vision? Type Y or yes in the chat box if you've ever felt that way, if you just got really frustrated because they're just not getting it. I don't understand. I see it. I understand it. How come they don't? Because we've all been there. We've all been there. Marnie's raising her hand. Yes. 
Jody is saying in the past, yes. Hi, Amy. Um, hi, Marnie. Yeah, Marnie says yes. And, and that's the thing. Lori says yes. Teresa says yes. And, and this is really important for you guys to understand. Val says yes. And, and, and you know, we're all going to go through these, these situations where we have to focus on our vision. And when you can, ex you can accept where other people are, because everyone comes into every opportunity for different reasons. Now, you know, for me, network marketing means everything to me because I want to show people the power of residual income. I want to show people the power of what that residual income can do for you. And if they so choose to want to retire or leave from their old profession to do this full time, I want that to spread. I, I, I want to find people that want to work from wherever. They want to be with their families whenever they want. They don't want to have to, to go you know, into a job that they're not inspired by. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Elaine. If you guys, if you guys can, can resonate with that, please type Y or yes in the chat box or you know, the thumbs up. Thank you for the hearts. And, and, and that's the thing. There are people out there that want exactly what we want. But it takes time to find them. But here's the other thing. When we can really understand that a lot of people aren't going to want what we want, and then it becomes a tug and war for us. Teresa says yes. Lisa says absolutely. Marnie is raising her hand. Yes, good. When you, when you take a deep breath and you can take a step back and understand that people are going to do what they feel is best for them, you're going to have a much easier time of meeting everyone where they are. And what I mean by that is that Energy and time should be put towards your vision and those that are in alignment with your vision. Instead of that tug of war match of trying to get people to see what you're seeing, because in the end, every single day, people grab a pair of glasses and they put them on. And those glasses represent the lens that they look through every single day. Now, do those lenses that they're looking through look like the pair that you're putting on each morning? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. More often than not, there are much more people. There are much more people that are putting on the lenses that don't match yours. And Marnie says the energy bus, it's, it's one of my favorites. There are very few people that grab those same lenses that you do, but it's those few that understand and are looking through the lenses that you wanna look through that change your life. What's up, Aaron? And that's the key. The key is to look through the lens that you want to look through, and you will find those people that are looking through your lens as well. And it's loving and appreciating. It's loving and appreciating for those people that are grabbing whatever pair of lenses they want to put on. Because you can't expect people to do things that they want to do for themselves. There's no expectations. It's focusing on those few people that put on that same pair of lenses every single morning and they run with you for, to the top of whatever opportunity you're a part of. Hi, Andrea. If this all makes sense, you guys are resonating with this, type Y or yes in the chat box. I just want to make sure you guys are understanding all this because the key is, the key is to really, really understand exactly what this is all about. You want people to really see and, and understand that they're not always going to want to do what you want to do. 
Marnie says yes. Teresa says yes. Lisa gives me the thumbs up. Aaron says yes, sir. And here's the thing. Once you're able to let go and fully understand that you're only focusing on the few, you're not focusing on the many, then your time becomes so much more valuable and it becomes so much more meaningful because your energy is now being placed in the hearts and the hands of those that know exactly where you want to go. There's no convincing. You know, there's no having to, to pull strings or have to work something out or them waiting till the last minute. They're doing it. They're going for it. They want it because you want it. If that all makes sense, please type Y or yes in the chat box. Elaine says yes. Andrea says yes. Yes, sir, from Aaron. Because you guys have to understand this business, network marketing, it's a privilege, it's an honor, the aces in the deck of 52. I couldn't have said that any better myself, Aaron. So if you guys know that analogy, there's 52 cards in a deck, four of them are aces. So you're looking for your four aces, and it just takes time. You have to shuffle those cards. You don't know what card's going to pop up, but... By loving and appreciating everything where it is. Lisa says brilliant. Jody says yes. You guys have to understand, this is something that I go through every single day. You know, there's times where I just bang my head against the wall because it's so clear to me what this opportunity is, what this could do for people. But everyone has to want it for themselves. You can't want it for them. And what I tell my team it's the 51-49 rule. As an example, they have to want it 51%. You have to want it 49% for them. They always have to want it just a little bit more than you do. If it's the reverse, if you want it more than them, they're never going to do it. It's just going to let leave you feeling let down and disappointed because you're choosing to be. When you can love and appreciate all of those people, where they are, it makes things that much easier. Please type Y or yes in the chat box if this all makes sense to you guys. Because I need you to understand, this is something that I go through every single day. And I'm so absolutely blessed and grateful for this opportunity. But today was a huge aha moment for me. I don't require any more the approval of someone else if they are or are not going to do what I feel is necessary. I'm giving myself permission to focus on those few people. As Aaron says, the aces in the deck. I'm going to focus on those aces in the deck. And you know what? It might only be one ace right now. But the great thing is if you found one ace, there's three more out there. So instead of focusing on the 48 other cards that you're stringing along or you're getting frustrated with because you're choosing to be frustrated, focus on those other three aces or the four aces or the two aces or the one other ace that you haven't found yet. And Elaine says, that happens to me all the time. I want it more than them and it doesn't work out. Andrea said she goes through it, goes through it too. Hi, Jen. Hi, Melissa. So again, focus on you. Focus on your vision. Because your vision might not be someone else's. But you have to keep sorting through those cards. You have to keep sorting through those apples until you find those people that have the same vision as you. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today. I wanted you guys to just hear my shares and takeaways because you know, part of this business is being real. Part of this business is, is letting people know being vulnerable because not every day is amazing, but there's always takeaways to be had every single day. And this was a huge lesson for me. I feel so much lighter today because now I know that it's okay if people don't have the same vision as me. I'm going to focus on those aces in my deck. We all have the same 52 deck of cards. We all have aces. You got to go find them. 
So with that, I wanted to say thank you for everyone jumping on. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, yet it is the word. That's right. So guys, um, please stay in touch. Love you all. Thank you for contributing. And uh, I will talk to you all, guys, all of you guys soon. And again, remember, your vision doesn't always match somebody else's, but people out there do have it. It's about finding them. And Jody says, thank you. Uh, it's always great to know that you're not alone in life. And that's the truth. We're all in this together. We're all family. I love you guys so much. Be well. Enjoy this gorgeous, beautiful, amazing day. And I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye, guys.